Hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in today's video we are solving a common pain point for every admin updating object access permissions across multiple profiles or permission sets in Salesforce. Manually doing this through setup is slow, repetitive and frustrating but using Excel connector you can do it all from Excel in bulk and in minutes. Now if your org has 10 plus profiles or dozens of permission set updating object permissions manually becomes a nightmare whether it's due to a reorg new team structure or adding a new feature. Granting or removing access across the board one by one is not scalable. Excel connector solves this by letting you manage everything through Excel. No clicking into setup, no navigating tabs, just download, edit and upload all at once. Let's start the demo. So first of all, I'm going to divide this demo into three parts. First of all, I'm going to cover the profile level, then I'm going to cover permission set level, and then we are going to see in bulk, like how easily we can update the settings of these profiles and permission sets. So first of all, in order to get the configuration from our Salesforce org, you simply need to visit other tools. Click on manage object access security. Click on it you will see this pop up over there right and now here you need to select your profile so before moving ahead let me explain you the scenario your company recently introduced a new custom object called vendor invoice so the finance team is responsible for reviewing and approving vendor invoices but currently their profile don't have any type of access to, so to enable their, their workflow they need full access to the vendor invoice right so we are going to provide full access to this particular object so if you closely see over here you will see there is a profile called finance user right i'm going to click on this finance user and from the right hand side i have a object called vendor invoice so let's click on vendor invoice and simply click on download so it will take a very short time and now you can see right now we have all the permissions that you can see over here allow read allow create allow edit allow delete view all records and modify all records as false in order to provide full access we need to set all of them as true similarly i will do for create for edit and view all records to as true and I I'm keep it modify all records as false because I don't want this team to allow or basically edit other user records as well. So I will keep it as false. Now what I will do, I will simply select this row and click here on update and click on update selected. So now you can see operation date time is basically updated. So now you can see profile finance user now has the access of vendor invoice object with all the required permissions that they want. Now the scenario two that I'm going to take is for the permission set and what I'm going to do in this scenario you are going to onboard a new contractor for your marketing team and they need the access to the lead object but only to view records. You don't want to create a separate profile for them a permission set marketing contractor access has been assigned to all of them or whoever is going to join the team. So in the same way what I am going to do, I will open the other tools, click on manage object access. From the left hand side I am going to select permission set. So first of all here you can see profile right and after that you will see permission set uh, accordion or you can say. So now I will bring this marketing contractor access permission set and from the right hand side I will get lead simply click on lead and click on download so now the setting of this particular object according to the permission set will be available over there so right now you can see from this all of the settings are as false that means this permission set is not allowing the access to the lead object but we need to provide the 
read access to this particular object. So what I will do here, I will simply update this allow read to true and select this row, click on update and update selected. I will wait for some time and here you can see this is also updated. So now in this sheet 13, I showed you how you can do this with the help of profile, how you can do this with the help of permission set. Now I am going to show you how you can do this in bulk where you are basically updating the data for profile and permission set together. So for this I am going to take the scenario where your org recently launched a new custom object called customer feedback. It is used to collect feedback from customer after product usage. Now three departments need access, support team should be able to update records marketing team only need read access and product team requires full access to analyze and act on feedback, right? They are using both profile and permission set based on the user structure. And now we are going to do the same with the help of using Excel connector because you know how hard it is to update their profile one by one uh, for each object, right? So in this, I am going to click on this plus button so that it will open a new sheet just to let you know that it is not get confusing for you. First of all, I showed you individual uh, solutions. Now I am going to show you how you can do that in bulk. So first of all, what I will do, I will get the configuration for the respective profiles and permission set. So I will click on manage object access security. And now I need to select the profiles. So that is support user, we got the support user, marketing executive and the third one is product manager. So these are the three profiles for which I need to fetch the object configuration and we have three permission set as well that is called feedback admin access, feedback edit access and feedback view access. For example, if we need to provide exclusive readability or let's say editing options uh, to a particular user, we can do them with the help of permission set. Now I need to select my object that is customer feedback. I will simply select this and click on download. So now here you can see we have three profiles and three permission sets and as mentioned marketing executive only requires the read access. So as you can see right here allow read is false. So what I will do, I will simply mark it, mark it as true. That means marketing executive will be able to read the customer feedback now. Similarly, for feedback view access, that is a permission set, I need to enable this false to true because we also want to provide the read access to the user who, to any user we are going to grant the permission set. Right? In the same way I am going to do for product manager and product team require full access to analyze and act on the feedback. So we need to set all the false to true and view all records as well true and modify all records as well true. And in the same way we need to do the same setting for admin access. Now we have two, one profile and one permission set is pending that is called support user and here you can see feedback edit access. So for support user we only want to provide them editing right. So in terms of editing what setting we need to provide we need to provide them read and edit. So what I am going to do here read as true and edit as true. Similarly for the edit access read as true and edit as true. So now what I will do I will select all these rows, click on update and click on update selected. Now let's wait for some time. So here you can see all the settings are updated now. So if you want to see all these settings in Salesforce, you can verify. I already did that demo. So I already know that these settings are accurately updated over there. Here you can see how fast it is. I updated three different profile, three different permission sets within a single click. So that's it from this demo. Let's talk about some real world situations where this process saves a ton of time. After a merger, when hundreds of users need access to new objects, 
you can update access for all their profiles in Excel and upload it in one go instead of going profile by profile. When roles shift like if marketing now handles leads instead of sales, you can reduce sales access and increase marketing's without ever touching setup. Just update it in Excel and push. For external contractors, create a permission set with minimal access, pull it into Excel, remove access to sensitive objects and assign it easily. During compliance reviews, export all object permissions, filter to see who has delete or modify all access. Clean it up and upload a tighter set of permissions. And last but not least, if your sandbox permissions don't match production, just export from both, compare them side by side in Excel and fix the differences without needing a full refresh. So that's how you can manage object access the smart way using Excel connector to do in minutes what used to take hours. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more time saving Salesforce tutorials. In the next video, we will see how you can do the same with field level security using Excel connector. So stay tuned. Thank you.